बात है हम Allah'a korkusu hikmetlerin başıdır. Hüseyin Ali used to say to be fearful of Allah Almighty is the beginning of wisdom. Her şeyin, her to be fearful, to be conscious of one's Lord Allah Almighty is the beginning, the source of all goodness. Çünkü Allah Azze ve Celle'den sakınan, korkan, utanan insan kötülük yapmaz. Because the one who is afraid of his Lord Allah Almighty, the one who is conscious of his Lord, and who feels shame, ashamed in front of his Lord, does not commit a sin. Her türlü şeyden muhafaza olur. And it is through that consciousness and fear of one's Lord and Allah Almighty that one is being protected. Onu aklından çıkarmaz. Şimdiki insanlar... A person who is fearful of his Lord Allah Almighty does never forget about his Lord Allah Almighty. Maalesef hiç, hiçbir şeyden utanmıyorlar, çekinmiyorlar. But people these days are not afraid of anything. They are they do not feel ashamed of anything. Allah'tan korkmuyorlar. And people in general are not afraid of their Lord, Allah Almighty, and they do they do not feel ashamed in front of their Lord. Allah'tan korkmayandan kork derler. And one should be afraid of those who are not afraid of their Lord, Allah Almighty. Allah muhafazasın, Allah hidayet versin insanlara. May Allah Almighty protect us and guide people towards the right way. Yani bu Allah'tan korkmak ayıp bir şey değil. To be afraid of one's Lord, to be conscious and aware of one's Lord, Allah Almighty, is not something to feel ashamed of. Ama şimdiki insanlara göre ayıptır. But according to people today, it is something to be ashamed of when one is fearful of one's Lord Allah Almighty. Onu itaat etmek iyi değil. These days, to obey one's Lord Allah Almighty is considered as something that is not good. Nefsine uymaz. Nefsinin, your ego does not like you to obey your Lord Allah Almighty. Mani olur. And to obey one's Lord Allah Almighty and to be afraid of Allah Almighty prevents your ego and restricts your ego. Kötülük yapmaya mani olur. And it is through that shame in front of Allah Almighty and to be fearful and conscious and aware of Allah Almighty that one is protected from doing bad things. Uh, insanlar yardım etmeye mani olur. Onun için and it is however the ego who prevents people from doing goodness and helping each other. Onu istemezler. And therefore they do not want you to obey your Lord Allah Almighty or to be fearful or ashamed or afraid of your Lord Allah Almighty. Ondan sonra işte nefislerin peşine koşup bütün dünya <coughs> Instead, they want you to run and chase down, chase after your ego. Nefsinize tabi olun diye, nefsine tabi olun. They call upon people throughout the entire world, follow your egos. Her türlü rezilliği, her türlü kötülüğü yapılıyor. And as people follow their egos, they do all kinds of bad and evil deeds. Teşvik ediliyor. And people are encouraged to do those bad things men olur. and thus they are prevented from doing good. İnsanlar, gizli da yok artık. Eskiden, and people do not feel ashamed anymore and it doesn't matter if you do something bad whether you do it in public or in private 
In former times, for example, people would still have a certain level and degree of shame, and if they did something bad, they would feel ashamed and they would rather do it in private. But now people are encouraged to be free to do whatever they like and whatever their their ego desires. Do whatever your ego wants you to do, they say, without any limitations. Don't listen to anyone or anything else except your ego, they say. There's freedom, they say. You may do as your as you like. You are free to do as many bad things as you like. <coughs> but letting people go wild leads to people now wondering, questioning, why is this world now in such a terrible state? Now people complain about why things are so bad. No wonder things are so bad. Your ego will lead you to nowhere except badness, and if a person follows his ego, he will end up nowhere than in a bad and ruinous state. All of humanity now obeys and follows their egos, whether it's little ones or older ones. The whole world is turned upside down. And they say we do not help those we do not help those out who do not follow their egos and they are only encourage people and help people who like them follow their egos. And if you do not join them in their badness and if you do not enforce their bad ways, then they and that then they deprive you of everything and they do not help you. We don't want your help. Allah Almighty is enough for us and He's our help. And Allah Almighty is enough for us to help us all. And that is what accounts Allah Almighty's support and help. We don't care whether others help us or not. People will get what has been destined for them by their Lord Allah Almighty. And if something is not destined for you, and if Allah Almighty prevented you from getting something, then nobody will enable you to get that very thing which you desire if it is not allowed to you by your Lord Allah Almighty. And if Allah Almighty, however, has destined something for you, then nobody can prevent you from receiving that favor by Allah Almighty. Be afraid of Allah Almighty. And obey your Lord Allah Almighty as much as you can and fulfill His orders as much as you can. And those things which you are unable to do, ask Allah Almighty for forgiveness. May Allah Almighty accept our repentance. And may Allah Almighty support us and He will support us if we do as much as we can and ask for forgiveness for those things we did not manage to do. Allah Azza wa Jalla karşı gelmeyin. Do not oppose your Lord Allah Almighty. Karşı gelmek akılsızlıktır. It is mindlessness to come up against one's Lord and to oppose Allah Almighty. Allah muhafaza etsin. May Allah Almighty protect us from doing such a thing. Allah insanlar akıl fikir versin. And may Allah Almighty give people the ability to think and understand clearly. İnsanlar deli olmak için para veriyorlar. People have 
gone wild and they've become crazy to the extent that they even pay money in order to do crazy things. What else is there to say? 